Imagine for a moment that you're approaching your front door because you think maybe you're getting a package or an unexpected friend is coming over to hang out and you suddenly realize that it's actually a potential lethal threat that you need to be prepared to defend yourself from. Especially in a situation where there may be other people in the house and you can't just simply run to a barricade area because you're concerned that someone might break through the door and go in a different direction hurting family members that may be in that area. In that case, it's going to be a great idea to have some type of defensive tool, and in this case, a defensive firearm, staged near your entryway. So imagine I'm coming up towards the door, and I maybe look out the window, and I see someone who's obviously a threat. Maybe I had reason to believe that's unusual for someone to be there, and I looked at my camera on my cell phone that's tied into a porch camera. Maybe I came right up and looked through the peephole. Maybe I didn't even have to approach the door because I heard someone fire a shot outside and say, I'm gonna kill you, Rob, or someone's pounding on the door and I see the, the hinges moving as they're, they're smashing against that door with their full body weight. Well, obviously the last thing I wanna do is to put myself in a position where I need to be near the door. Now, for some reason, the door is left unlocked Maybe you only have the standard lock, you don't have the deadbolt lock set, or if you have some other security lock, then it may be a compelling thing to do to increase the structure of the door. Now, if somebody's already pounding on it, maybe you don't wanna get that close. But if you see someone outside who looks like they're potentially a threat, and it's the middle of the day, and you have some type of extra security locks that you haven't engaged, now's the time to do it. But very quickly, you're gonna to wanna to move into a position to access that staged defensive firearm. Now you notice I didn't turn my back on the door. Remember that door could come open at any moment and I may need to fight as opposed to arm myself. In this case, I'm gonna use this tactical walls uh, picture frame. This is a clandestine staging area that uses RFID to open up and release access to these firearms. In this case, I've got a medical kit, I've got a light. Right now, all I need is that firearm. I need to get that firearm into my ready position because it's inside of a holster piece here, one of the crossbreed module pieces. I know that there's already a round in the chamber. If I had the gun just sitting here on the magnet, I'd probably need to chamber around. At this point, I'd be able to move back into a more secure space, getting more distance, getting a little bit of a corner between me and that bad guy. And of course, now is when I would be calling out to the family. I might be calling out to tell someone to call 911. Maybe I have a panic alarm on that remote access app controlled security system, or of course I could just call 911. And then at this point, maybe leave the phone right there. Maybe put the phone down on the ground, put the phone on speaker, tuck it into my belt and go back into that two handed ready position. Now, if you generally carry a firearm concealed or open inside of your home when you're awake for defensive purposes, then something like this may not matter to you. But remember, many of us live with other family members who are trained in and authorized in the use of defensive firearms around the home to defend themselves or other family members, or maybe me if I'm asleep, and they don't carry a gun around. So thinking about staging a defensive firearm somewhere where it's in close proximity to the entryway, whether that's a front or rear entryway, or maybe both is something that you should seriously consider if you're interested in, in being as prepared as possible for defending yourself and those you care about inside of your home.